Hi, Jill here. Back with um, another episode of Cooking with Um This is another short one, um, and I'm still on my random Texas murders from the Rio cold case project that I jumped into that rabbit hole of. So, this one um, is another one I found. This, um, and I'm gonna, still going to make um, stuffed shrooms, which is a little recipe that I've concocted. So, um, let me tell you about this version first. So, um, this was another one I came across. Um, it was listed as death by gunshot. Um, and then this one, this one's weird. So, um, this one is Arnaldo Garza Sr., um, who was a native of Lower Reforma, Texas, um, but had lived in Edinburgh most of his life. Um, he was a self-employed welder and had started A and A welding. Um, he had one son, five daughters, and was forty-five at the time of his death. So, this one's strange. So I'm gonna pull out my little stimmies here, pull my mushrooms, and get those laid out. Cause I'm gonna put them in this baking dish. So I'm gonna do that while I read. Um, so there are some weird things about his death. Um. On September 6th, so this happened before the last one, Michael Flores, which happened at the end of September. This one happened um, like two weeks before. Um, he was missing from his, well, he went missing from his home in Edinburgh. Edin, Edinburgh. Um, his daughter, Linda, stated that she saw him being taken. This man was abducted, by the way. I should have preferenced with that. Um... But she didn't know he was being taken. He was in a white two-door Ford pickup truck sitting in the middle of two men. Um, and she said they weren't arguing or anything. So there wasn't anything, you know, she wasn't, didn't think there was anything going on. Um, on the 7th, the next day, um, the family gets a call that he was being held um, for ransom for the amount of seventy thousand dollars, I think that's enough for right now. Um, of seventy thousand dollars, and needed to be delivered to an address in Reynosa, Mexico. Um, the money was delivered to someone there, and the family awaited confirmation that it was received, and then for his return. Um, and then on November seventeenth, so this was the seventh, so like. A month and ten days later, um, they discovered his remains in a sugarcane field near Moore Air Base. Um, his family was able to get him identified by dental records. Um, and an autopsy was done, which stated that he died due to a blow to the left chest and shoulder area. Um, and I found newspaper clippings on all of this um, because I only found very little information until I actually started digging into the newspaper article part of it. And I'm just putting some olive oil on these to get a nice coat. And then I'm going to season them. Um, so I'm going to do the back of them first. And then I'm going to fill them with cream cheese. So um, I'm doing that. I've got a nice coat going. Uh, so um, this one is strange. Um, like I said, uh, there wasn't very little information on this one. Um, basically, I found everything, do a little pepper, in newspaper articles. Um, so, um, and the police determined that this wasn't related to drugs, but there wasn't any evidence to prove it. Um, and that's what his daughter said in a news article. Um, I'm going to put some, just a little oregano on the back of them. Um, so this one is strange for a couple reasons. So, um, the strangest thing I did find while Googling this was that, um, his family's still seeking justice, as you would, and I did find a lovely, um, video package that had been put together by a news station, and which is linked below. Um, but the weirdest thing I found was the ransom part of it. Um, cause I found a newspaper article and I sat and looked at the picture of him and the picture in the article and I was like, am I crazy? That's the same person, right? Same hat, same everything. Um, because the article they did with the local paper, not the local paper, but the local news said nothing about the ransom. 
and I wasn't able to find anything else on it unless I had went back and looked at this newspaper article. Um, so it was strange to me that I had to get a spoon. So um, I covered the back of these and then I'm flipping them back over and I'm going to fill them with um, this Just Like cream cheese. It's from Violife. Um, it's garlic and herb, which I bought by accident because I wanted to try cream cheese. <clears throat> Vegan cream cheese, just plain cream cheese, and I found this. This was the one I purchased um, instead. So I'm going to stuff these. Um, so that's <laughs> the strangest thing um, is I don't know why. That wasn't more of a point in the couple news articles that I found. Um, because they paid somebody that in 88, um, which is a crazy amount of money then. And in today's money, it would be, I'm bad at math, 52, $502,993.30. Um, so it was mentioned... It was only mentioned the one time in the newspaper article um, that was on September 23rd of 1988 and then it was never mentioned again. Um, I couldn't find any follow-up. Um, like I said, it was not mentioned in um, news articles the family's done since then, so I'm not, I'm not sure why. Um, that doesn't take anything away from the fact that someone did murder their, their father. Um, because that's, it's awful, because, um, it, he just seemed like such a, a happy man, um, from just the little things that I've seen on it, um, but, I don't know, something strange about it, um, for them to have paid that much money, and there be nothing on it, um, so, that was the second one I found, I still have a couple more to go, um, and I'm, filling these just with enough um and this is a weird process because these the cream cheese melts in it and I've not really found out a way because I'm trying I don't want to mix it with cheese um because it's vegan cream cheese and I feel like it's a cop out to mix it um but I mean you can add it, probably a little parmesan to it um most cheese I buy is plastic anyway so I guess it doesn't really matter does it um, I'm trying to get away from cheese, just not the, the dairy, I haven't gotten there yet. Um, but I'm going to pop these in the oven. I usually put them in there for 20 minutes just to get them tender and then take them out. The cream cheese is top notch though. Um, so this is a, another strange case. Um, they've not found anything else on it. Um, they're still looking for answers. They've not been able to find the truck. Um, I don't know why it was listed as a gunshot wound on the Rio cold case website. Because I know that I found one article that said that their his daughter was working with them on it. It was like a new partnership. Um, Maybe I misread it. I don't know. Um, I'm going to cough it off and put it. Um, some parmesan cheese on it just because I can't I not hold it together a little bit more. At least hold the cream cheese in some until I can. Um, I've not found any vegan cheeses that work for me. I'm gonna make some. I've got some recipes, so let me see if I can make some. I just destroyed that one. Um, so I'm not, I don't know, unless the newspaper was wrong and they got it mixed up with someone else. Um, because his name is very common, um, which was one issue I had while researching these cases in Texas, is that a lot of people with the same name exist, um, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, I just don't, I don't understand. Um, and I tried to look at years after to see if I could find anything, and it just wasn't, so that looks better. I stuffed them a little. Um, and you know what? Just to add a little sass, I'm going to put some paprika in there because you know what? Paprika is a very underutilized spice. I'm just going to take some, like you do deviled eggs. Um, so, um, I'm going to pop these in. 
for right now. I've got, I've got potatoes in. Right now, so I'm gonna make that. I'm also gonna make fried chicken, but um, I've not made the chicken before, so I didn't want to do it in this video. Maybe the next one. Um, but that's all I have on that right now. Um, I will have the article up. I'm going to also include the newspaper clippings I found. Um, just to prove I'm, I'm not insane. Um, I don't know. Um, I couldn't, like I said, I couldn't find anything that there was a retraction that, hey, we made a mistake or anything like that. Um, I did find some murders that were kind of similar to this one. There is another one I found where someone else was kidnapped. Um... So I don't know if anything, like I said, I don't know if any of these have any connection to it, to the other. I don't, they're just, it's something that I found while going down a rabbit hole that seemed strange to me that these happened within like a five year period. Um, so, um, I'll have this one posted and with the, the research that I have. Um, so let me know what you think. Um, and I'm going to wait for these to done and then I'll, I'll show you what they look like. Okay.